welcome back to my channel and I decided to film a prom hair and makeup inspired video for you guys because I know that a lot of schools are having a their prom coming up so I loved prom and I loved getting ready for prom so I thought I would film a video so that some of these girls can get inspired by prom I just used the word prom in a lot of sentences but anyway if you guys want to see how I got this look just keep watching okay, we're gonna start by priming our eyelids using the Bare Minerals 5-in-1 Cream Shadow. And I'm just going to take it, apply it all over the lid, and then we're just going to blend it in with our finger. And that's going to make sure your eyeshadow stay on a lot longer since we're going to be dancing at prom, so. And then I'm going to be taking this eyeshadow brush and going in with the color Force of Nature Ooh, from the Tartlet palette. We're just going to use it all over the crease. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Power Player one right there. I'm going to apply it mainly in the crease and outer corner. Kind of creating that cat eye effect. I'm going to go back in with that brush we used in the beginning with the force of nature on that and just kind of blend everything together. And taking this flat um, lid brush, we're going to spray it with the Urban Decay setting spray because we're going in with a Makeup Forever loose powder. Well, it's not loose, but it's very pigmented. And we're just going to pack that all over the lid. You want to pat as opposed to swiping it across the lid because that's just going to make it not show up as much. I'm going to take this brush that we used, Power Player, that gray shade, add a little bit more, and really darken up that outer corner and crease. Then I'm going to go back in with Force of Nature and Make sure everything is nice and blended. I'm going to take the Kat Von D ink liner and I'm going to draw out my wing. to curl my lashes. <gasps> I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous. And I'm gonna go in with the Ardell, I think these are 314, 113s, that's what they are. Da, da, da. Those are lashes, by the way. Once you pop the glue on the little lash, you want to let it sit for like probably a minute and let it dry so the glue can get tacky and actually start working. Oh gosh, <laughs> I can't do this without a mirror. It's a lot easier to do with tweezers, but I can't find mine at the moment. 
So you can see we got a lot to clean up right there, but don't worry. Oh no! Ah! Seriously, this would happen to me. I don't know where my lashes. Oh, I found it! Woo! Wait, is that it? I think so. <laughs> it's got lashes floating around. go in with the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer because I have pretty large pores around my T-zone area and it's also going to help mattify your face so no excess oil comes out throughout the day and it also prolongs the longevity of your foundation as well. And it just feels so good on my skin. First, I'm going to conceal all these um, dark spots because I just had a crazy stress breakout for the last three weeks. I'm going to use the Maracuja Creaseless Concealer from Tarte and it's in the shade Fair. Because I'm pale! I'm just going to dab this where I feel like I need some coverage. I'm gonna dab it and really press the product into my skin and then I'm gonna put some around my nose because I tend to get a little bit of redness. I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. It will look a little crazy right now because my face is super pale but the rest of my body is decently tan. Whoa drip onto my pants and blend it out and circuit. I'm going to try this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I just got this the other day and wanted to try it out. It reminds me of the NARS, so. And then I grabbed a pretty light shade to kind of balance out my face and highlight this area. I really like this concealer though. I'm going to highlight some more. I'm going to set all that highlighting we just did with the Makeup Forever HD translucent powder, I think it's called, in this flat for brush. I got it. Aura. and I'm just pressing the powder into my skin as opposed to sweeping because then you'll just be sweeping the product all over your face. This is like my holy grail product for people with oily skin like me because it just sucks up all the oil and lasts pretty long. I feel like I don't have to keep powdering it all day and that's really nice. Now I'm going to finish my eyes. No. I'm going to bronze the face. I'm going to use this chocolate soleil powder. I got it like holiday gift set, but you can buy it separate. And it's so good, it smells like chocolate. Mm. And I'm just adding it to the corners of my forehead because I have a giant forehead. And I help recede it and focus all the attention in the center of my forehead. A little bit on the cheekbones. Blending it into your hairline because you don't want like it to look like you're wearing a mask. And then along my jawline, I'm going to blend it in. I'm going to take this Urban Decay Duo Brush, is that what it's called? The Anastasia Contour Kit and use the middle shade. I'm going to take that right where that indentation is. I don't like to bring it too far down because it can kind of look manly. Down my nose because I have a big nose. 
And then I'm gonna go in with, what am I gonna go in with? I'm gonna go in with this blush by Bare Minerals. It's called the Aphrodisiac. I'm gonna take this Morphe brush that I accidentally broke, but it's beautiful for blush. Lightly dust that on the cheeks. On top of that blush, I'm going to this little Mary Luminizer by The Ball. I got a little sample, but I'm gonna have to get a new one because I love it. Then I'm gonna dip my brush in it and then apply that to the cheekbone to give a nice glow to the skin. I just added some to my forehead nose and Cupid's bow <laughs> and chin. And then I'm going to go back to that Mary Luminizer by The Balm. I'm just going to apply it on this little pencil brush. And back in with the, the Makeup Forever Silver. And then I'm going to take that Power Player, that dark gray shade. And then I'm going to take this 24-7 Proversion Black Eyeliner from Urban Decay. I'm going to take that gray shade that we used in our crease and outer corner, that along the lower lash line. And then I'm going to go in with this little precision crease brush and I'm going to go in with that first shade we used, Force of Nature. Go right underneath that. So I'm going in with the NYC Liquid Eyeliner in Black. This is just going to help blend your lash. I'm just going to coat the bottom lashes with mascara. I'm going back in with the Voluminous Original by L'Oreal. My cat wanted to say hi. Hi! <laughs> now we move on to the hair. Just using the No Drought Dry Shampoo from Lush. Powdering that all over. It's really great at absorbing oil and also giving lots of volume. What are you doing? My cat is playing in a bag right now. Oh my god, can we just look at her? What are you doing? Zena? Are you done? Okay, I don't mind if you're in here, but don't play with bags. I'm going to go in with the 6-in-1 curler by Ben Bella, Be Bellamy and I'm going to take pretty decent pieces, probably like an inch, is that an inch? Inch and a half. And I'm going to all wrap it forward. Curled it for a sec. Hold it for a second and kind of bounce it up like that so that it cools in my hand. And I'm going to drop it down. And then I'm just going to keep repeating the process all over my head. Okay, I'm gonna let my hair cool. It's all curled right now and I forgot to do lips. So, start with a nude lip, which I think most people will like that. I'm gonna go in with this Lip liner from Gorgeous Cosmetics. It is called Barely There, and it's just supposed to look like your lip color, but a little bit more vamps up. I'm going to go in with Buxom lipstick called Nudist. And then I'm gonna top that butter gloss in creme brulee and then I'm 
going to brush my hair out. So this is what the hair looks like when it's all brushed out. It's just a nice sleek kind of retro looking hairstyle. Perfect for prom. Oh, I don't think there's anything else to say other than thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys soon. <laughs> Bye!